Here we are in KwaZulu-Natal, Durban, South Africa, for the 2018 ITU Telecom World. It's ITU Telecom World is the leading ICT event around the globe. There are thousands of participants here from uh, at least 40 countries around the globe and they uh, are here to discuss the future of ICTs and the future of telecommunications uh, in general. The IT Telecom World event actually is a global platform for ICT that gathers three different stakeholders all together. And these stakeholders are public sector, private sector and actually SMEs. And that's where we have the global SME and the awards program. And we have the scale-up SMEs that have a very high potential for scalability coming on board to actually interact and uh, create the synergy between the different three type of audience. A packed program includes panel discussions, forum sessions, ministerial roundtables, exhibitors and more, including a total of 125 SMEs from 16 countries, of which 65 were shortlisted for the ITU Telecom World Awards. Maybe five minutes for each of the SME pitches, so take it away. One out of three South Africans are obese. It's an $8.1 trillion global industry. Construction plans are very complex. How you get them um, like very efficient into your system. We have a digital engagement platform. To understand that this is like a savings platform. Five million users. What are your revenue projections? 2% commission per transaction. The program actually is focused on uh, high tech SMEs that they have an amazing business model, scalable potential, and uh, elevated use of ICT and social impact. So these are the main four pillars that we work on with the SMEs and we try to evaluate the SMEs accordingly and actually we evaluate them by these pitch session that they do before a jury that are mixed of uh, investors, accelerators manager, incubation managers, and it's actually a very interesting thing to see all this interaction between, come, between the jury and the SMEs coming from all over the globe. How are you going to work around that? Being a jury member is actually very, very daunting. It's a very difficult task because there's so many beautiful ideas, but we have to find what is going to be a solution that solves a global problem. The expectations is that uh, the, like the next startups have more social impact. Because the world has a lot of very uh, strong problems um, startups can solve. Uh, what's really important for us is that we help ordinary people uh, derive income from their language knowledge. So if you also are Zulu speaking, you can derive an income by, by being a tutor. One or two really good um, candidates that have come through um, and then one or two that are very early stage and I think they need to do a bit more homework in order to prove a concept. It was very inspiring from the juries to have them giving us feedback on how to improve, how to get new clients, new ideas that we hadn't thought about that could really boost our businesses. Besides getting the price or not, just the feedback that we got already is, is invaluable. We are so grateful to be shortlisted amongst the world's small and medium enterprises. It's a real privilege for us coming from the dusty roads of Eastern Cape.